All right, thank you. From a birthday to a business, this year an Independence woman turned a special treat she made for her daughter's birthday into a standalone business. Yep, KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan live this morning to explain how this all happened and tell us about that treat. <laughs> Charlie, you're talking cookies this morning, so you have my undivided attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking those French macaron, the kind of meringue sandwich cookies. I wish I had one for you, Taylor, but kind of already ate them all, so sorry about that. Bailey Noguez, though, she's selling them from the Mac Shack here in Uptown Independence. Just opened the standalone business about two months ago or so. I found out how she and many other entrepreneurs in the area right now are getting a helping hand. Strawberry lemonade. I asked Bailey Noguez what I thought would be the hardest question. Toasted marshmallow. What's her favorite flavor of macaron? It's definitely the best. She first made a macaron cookie for her daughter's birthday about three years ago. And they're all made with almond flour. Then obsessed over perfecting that recipe. About two years later, I kind of mastered it, and a friend of mine was like, you should try to sell these. Demand increased beyond what her home kitchen could handle. 871. And Noguez looked for a commercial space like this. What do you got cooking? This is the Innovation Center, E to emphasize entrepreneurship and education. Dessert options. From a big kitchen to small offices, meeting rooms, and workspaces, the Innovation Center is a business incubator in independence. This device. Startups pay below market rate rent and get consultation on business planning and budgeting with the ultimate goal that one day they'll graduate to their own location. And that's what we live for. That is that we try to have a party with them. Directors Xander Winkle adds enthusiasm to the Innovation Center. He's excited because the center is more full now than ever before, currently serving a record number of startups. Here's Winkle's guess as to why. Something like a global pandemic is really going to make you think about what do I want to do? And maybe that dream that I had, that business idea that's been floating around, Let's do it. Now's the time. Noguez had the idea. The Innovation Center helped her scale up, get permitting, and feel comfortable tackling the truly hard questions. They take it to the next level of making sure you're getting what you need to succeed. What you need to succeed is helping Bailey out here at the Mac Shack. The Innovation Center is in the uh, Independent School District headquarters, and it's actually ship with the school, the uh, school district, the city here of Independence, and the Independence Economic Development Council. It's been around for 11 years, Lindsay and Taylor, and has a long history of success. Uh, Xander, who you heard from there, says in the last 11 years, businesses that have left the Innovation Center have created more than $30 million wow. in salaries wow. for folks here around the Kansas City metropolitan area. That's phenomenal. It's, Anything it's that helps really small great. businesses get that foothold, that's amazing. So what did Bailey do before the pandemic, before the Mac Shack, before Macaron? Right, yes. Uh, she was a server, a bartender. She went from serving up cocktails to serving up cookies here. Mm -hmm. And she's a real creative person. She wants to host uh, parties here at the Mac Shack where you can decorate your own cookie with different holiday themes and whatnot. Oh. She also sells teas, lemonades, things like that to go along with your cookie. We well, love the name. Well, I was going to say, we, we, we are in love with the name of the Mac Shack. It's fantastic. <laughs> so we wish her all the best. And clearly, with right. the track record of what's going on behind her there, she's got uh, a lot of hope for that moving forward. Charlie, thank you very much. Thanks, Charlie.